Hey YouTube, this video is going to be telling you how to make this really cool splash effect. Okay, so you're going to be using Adobe Photoshop CS3 or CS4. I'm using CS4 Extended Edition. Okay, so I want to tell you to make this splash. The first thing you're going to do is download the splash paint brushes. Okay, so let me just create that. Now go to the website, go to our website, there's a link on the right hand side, and um, you press download here, left. Okay, it downloads a raw. Okay, so that means you've got to extract it using a program, uh, something like 7 zip I use. That'll be the link as well if you want to use that. So, right click, and once you install 7 zip, you'll get this, and then hover over this, and then hit extract to, and then the rest of that. And then that'll make another folder. Okay, Let's go into that folder. And you'll have this, okay? Double click on that, and it should start to open up Adobe Photoshop. Okay, so close that. So it's going to start to open it, and um, the the paintbrush will be installed. Okay, so now we're going to go into making it. Go into File, New, and you can do anything for this. I'm doing a, a 500 by 500, and name it whatever you want, or name it Splash. Alright. Um click okay, okay. Okay, so first thing we wanted to do is um make the background a layer by double clicking and then clicking OK. Now um choose your foreground background foreground colour, okay. Choose it make it black and then go into the paint bucket tool and then go like that. Okay, next um, choose a colour, so I'm going to start with a red and then we're going to make the splashes, so choose a colour I'm going to choose red to start off with and we're going to make a splash by going into the paintbrush and choosing a brush, it should be right at the bottom, okay it looks like this, there now as you can see it's really 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 big, so change it so change this uh, size over here to about 406 and then yeah that's much better or if you want it lower you can I'll have it let's try 394 yeah that's better okay 394 and then oops and then just position it right and click and then you get one splash now keep on doing that with all the colors so uh, green there and splash alright and then you could do a purple pink splash alright now eventually when you keep on doing it it looks it should look something like this alright now once you keep on doing it you get something like this and uh, it looks great so it could be a cool wallpaper and then obviously you can choose text so uh, click the T button for text and wait for it to load up alright and once you have your text click on oops, and then oh, I hate this ok type in anything I'll type in YouTube alright and you can make that white there you are and uh, position it right and then once you have that you can make cool effects for the text by double clicking on the uh, grey shaded area here and then going into bevel and emboss and as you can see the difference while, while, I take, while, while I'm doing the differences you should see it come on the text then on blend mode go to normal and then um, sorry click on this as well and then on style click on emboss and then you put this to one alright or have however many you want okay look you can see that well I don't want that um direction okay so that means the see it moves a bit I want that soften nah um you can change texture you know all of that you can do all of that gradient overlay is, is quite cool uh, and click on it and if you put the gradient overlay to 
reflective looks really good you can change it like this so click ok move it about and there it is a cool you know stylish splashy effect background um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching